nobody expects there to be coral reefs off the coast of Texas. Well, one of the reasons we're working so hard to protect the Flower Garden Banks is that they are one of the most pristine coral reefs in the world. These are the healthiest coral reefs in the whole Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico and have more coral coverage than you will see anywhere in any of those regions. Over 50% of the bottom is covered in living coral resources, and that's unheard of at a time when we have worldwide decline in coral reefs. We have big, huge boulders of coral that are just piled one on top of the other and have just been growing out there for thousands of years and creating a massive high-profile reef that sometimes rises 50 to 20 feet above the sea floor. You know, there are threats that face the, the marine resources at the Flower Grand Banks. One thing that people think about a lot is um, the impact of oil and gas. And of course, the Flower Garden Banks is located right in the middle of one of the most highly developed and intensive oil and gas uh, exploration areas in the world. But we have found that in spite of the intense oil and gas development activities out there, that routine operations, routine development, has not shown to be a significant impact it's kind of interesting because we can, we can sh look at the flower garden banks and show where a very sensitive marine environment can coexist with fairly intensive industrial activity um, with no significant environmental impact, as long as that activity is well regulated and, and well managed. It's been constantly monitored since the 1970s, and it's one of the longest term monitoring programs of any coral reef in the world. So we know that it's as healthy now as it was in the 1970s, maybe even more so. And as we get down the slopes and a little bit deeper sections of the reef building corals, we actually see almost 70% cover in some areas, which makes it a great place to study. We are seeing healthy populations of predators, we are seeing healthy corals, and we are, although we do occasionally see the bleaching and the disease that are prevalent on other reefs, we don't see it in the same quantities. So the flower garden banks is kind of the canary in the coal mine. It's a great place to understand what might happen next and what we're striving to get back to in many other areas around the world. Coral reefs worldwide are in decline, but the Flower Garden Banks coral reefs are still magnificent and still healthy. And it's our job um, to monitor them, to study them, and to conserve them, to manage and protect them.